So, hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dave. And for those of you who don't know me, you're probably at the wrong event, so you probably should go. But stick around, we're going to have a good time tonight either way. First and foremost, I think we can all agree that it's been a wonderful day so far. Chris and Krista, you guys should be super proud of the amazing day you've put together. We're all very lucky and honored to be a part of it. I would like to say a big thank you to all the families, the wedding party, and all the guests. I know that Chris and Krista truly feel the love from everybody in this group today. They appreciate all of you making the trip and taking the time to travel here to Sanibel. A couple serious things I'd like to say is a huge, oh no, a huge thank you to Krista's mom and dad, Beverly and Fred, and to Krista's mom, Carolyn, and his dad, David, who's up in heaven watching us over us today. I think we can all agree that they did a great job raising these two. Now, I was warned about all the topics that are to be off limits. <laughs> so that's exactly where I'm going to start. <laughs> Actually, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to them. But we can all have some great memories of these two, whether it be recent or from when they were kids. I know we all can't wait to make some more memories and share stories for years to come. When Shan and I found out that Chris and Krista about the wedding we weren't really surprised at all. We were more in line with, dude, what took so long? <laughs> it's about time. But then Chris says to me in a nonchalant way, hey, Dave, I'm going to need you to do a speech for me. And I remember him saying that, but I guess it just didn't register. <laughs> i got to turn the page. <laughs> <laughs> Until about two weeks ago, he and I were talking on the phone, and I asked him if there was anything I could do to help out. He said, nope, just glad you and Shanna can be there for us, and thanks again for doing the speech. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you too, man. I kind of sat there on the phone for about a second and then said, wait, you were serious about that? And he said, yep, so here we are today. So I'm, I'm not the 20-minute kind of speech guy because everybody wants to have a drink and eat. But I do want to say a few quick things about each of them. We were super happy, to meet, super happy to meet Krista when Chris brought her down to Tampa about five, six years ago. I think we all became instant friends and had a blast hanging out at the beach, watching quite a few sunsets together. We do have some great memories of Krista dancing in the golf with Chris. Krista, to all of us, has a super warm and caring heart. And one thing that really stands out in my mind is when she left a bunch of beautiful shells for my daughter, Gabby. I've been told how passionate she is about cheer, coaching, and all of her friends and family, and that some of her past students are still her very best friends and super close to her. Krista has always been fun to be around, especially when sees an alligator down here and thinks it's going to eat all of us. <laughs> I do feel a little bad for Krista, though, due to the age difference between these two. We do know that one day she will be pushing around that wheelchair and probably feeding him through a spoon. So I got to get rid of my glasses here. So I've known Chris since back in 2005 when we first moved into our new brand new sub out in Macomb. We were getting settled, Shan and I, in our new house. We had our daughter, Gabby. And one day we drove by another new home, and there was this guy working out in the front yard. And I must say, he's a pretty handsome fella. <laughs> Shanna says to me, you know what, we really should talk to that worker and have him come do some landscaping for us. <laughs> and I, I think her exact words were, that's the hottest Mexican worker I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, we met him in the street a few days later, and we've been best friends, great friends ever since. And all, all those 16 months later, my son was born. As you know, my wife has blonde hair. Nick's hair came out jet black, and I said to myself, <laughs> Tapasio. <laughs> but honestly, we've had awesome, great times, all of us, right? He's now a toad. He is. He is a, he's, a, he's a blondie now. So everyone, please raise a glass. Let's toast this couple. Chris and Krista, congratulations on finding each other. You need to know that everyone here will always be ready to help you guys with anything that you may ever need in your lives. We wish you nothing but the love and the great adventure for the rest of your lives. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.